Hey guys, praise Jesus and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to Only God channel. You just don't know how I am happy right now to see you right here. And if it happens that this is your first time to be here, you are very welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel for authentic spiritual nourishment content right here like this video and watch this video to the end uh -huh. okay so in today's video i am going to be giving you five bible verses to use in your prayers and by the way do you use bible verses in your prayers do you and i think that it's so so important for you to use Bible verses in your prayers when you are praying because it gives more strength to your prayers when you are presenting your petition and your needs before God. Can you imagine? Look at this, eh? A lawyer who doesn't know anything about the law and that lawyer is defending you in a court. You know what might happen and look at the lawyer who knows the law everything and when they are defending in the court they are like okay you know according to section a b c like that and like that that lawyer is likely to win the case and that's why i am here to give you these bible verses that will help you and if you have not been uh, praying using bible verses i am encouraging you today Try to incorporate Bible verses, the word of God in your prayers. And you will see something changing in your life. Okay? So without wasting time, we are beginning this video right now. So basically the Bible verses that I am going to share with you right here today. These are some of my best Bible verses that I usually use in my prayers on a daily basis. And I have... I have written them on on cards like this so this is very portable for me I walk with it anywhere I go in my handbag in my pocket so it is very easy for me and it has uh, my prayer needs right here so I have written the, uh, the prayer need here the Bible verse uh, about the prayer and then here this is the space where I, uh, I just left it blank so when the prayer is answered, I tick it, the date and the day. So it is very easy for me to just recite it anywhere when I feel I want to pray. So it's very easy. So try making a card like this. And it is getting old. It's very old. It has two years, this card right here. And this one is older than the other one. You can see it is very old. It is getting torn, but I can't let it go because I have some prayers here that are yet to be answered, so I cannot uh, throw it away. So, yeah, try getting things like this and let me know what you think about this. So, we are going to begin with the first Bible verse. This one is my favorite. There we go. Uh, it is from M Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. The Bible says, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened to them. That is the first Bible verse. So I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not here to explain, but I'm just sharing the Bible verses. And try uh, just to study them and read them and just try to internalize and just uh, and see what God will tell you about the Bible. But that's the, the first one. And then we're going to go to uh, the second one in, uh, in Matthew. It's not Matthew. In Luke. Okay, the second one is in John. Before we go to, uh, to Luke, we have chapter 14 john chapter 14 verse 13 to 14 it says and i will do whatever you ask in my name so that the father may be glorified in the son you may ask me for anything in my name and i will do it those were the words of jesus okay so the second one is from mark 11 24. this is my all-time favorite 
my all time favorite mark 11 24. Here we go, Mark 11 24. It says, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. So, so you have to believe. You see, faith is the most important thing. Let us go to Philippians. Philippians. Philippians chapter 4. Chapter 4, verse 6. Yeah, verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That is number 4. So we are many with one to go. I'm hurrying because I don't want this video to be too long. So, Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Finally, Luke chapter 1 verse 37. That is our last one. Remember, I'm just giving you some of the Bible verses that can help you in, uh, like you can recite them when you are praying. Yeah. Chapter 1, verse 37. This was the reply of, of Mary after the conversation with the angel. And this is what she said. For no word from God will ever fail. And some other versions say that nothing is impossible with God. So there you go. I hope this video has been so, so helpful. So make sure that you come up with a prayer list and write it down and read it every day read it every day and pray about it the bible says in habakkuk chapter chapter 2 uh verse 2 that then the lord replied write down the revelation that god has given you and make it plain on tablet so that a hearer may run with it for the revelation awaits an appointed time it, it speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and it will not delay. So if your prayers delay, just hang on. God is faithful. He will not fail you. He has always been faithful and he never, he will never, 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 never fail you. So make sure that you come up with something like this. It will help you in just reciting your bible verses and also help you to pray at any time that you want so thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate if you have not subscribed what are you waiting for go ahead and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section below and share this video see you in my next one bye bye